Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. In today's video, we will do part 1 of chapter Polynomials. In this part 1, we will understand polynomials in 1 and 2 variables and what are constant polynomials. Let's see what all topics we will cover in this video. First is basic terms. Then, what is polynomial? After that, polynomials in 1 and 2 variables and constant polynomials. So, let's start and first understand the basic terms. First term is constant. Constant is a fixed numerical value. For example, 6, 3, minus 2, under root 2. All these are constant because these values are fixed. They do not change. Next term is variable. Variable means something which can change. For example, x, y, n, m. All these are variables because their values can change. Next is algebraic expression. Algebraic expression is combination of constants and variables connected by some or all mathematical operations plus, minus, divide or multiplication. For example, 2x plus 3 and 5x plus y plus 6. These two are algebraic expressions. Our next topic is terms. In an algebraic expression, terms are separated only by plus or minus sign. For example, 4x square plus 5xy plus 6. Students, in this algebraic expression, 4x square is the first term, 5xy is the second term and 6 is the third term. So students, there are 3 terms in this algebraic expression. Let's see one more example. 5x square y z divided by 3z. How many terms are there in this expression? Yes, there is only one term in this algebraic expression. Because there is division sign in this expression instead of plus or minus sign. We just learned that terms are separated only by plus or minus sign. Now let's understand what is polynomial. In an algebraic expression, if powers of variables are whole numbers like 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on, then it is a polynomial. For example, x cube minus 4x square plus 6x minus 1. Let's see if this algebraic expression is a polynomial or not. It has variable x. Let's check the power of variable x. In the first term, x cube power of x is 3, which is a whole number. Second term is 4x square, where power of x is 2, which is again a whole number. Now, third term is 6x, where x has no power. It means power of x is 1, which is again a whole number. Fourth term is 1, which is a constant. So students, all the powers of variable are whole numbers. Therefore, we can say that this algebraic expression is a polynomial. Let's take one more example. 2y square plus 6y cube minus 8y plus 2 by 3. Here, variable is y. So let's check the power of variable y. First term is 2y square 
where power of y is 2 which is a whole number second term is 6y cube so power of y is 3 which is again a whole number now in third term 8y variable y has no power it means power of y is 1 which is a whole number fourth term is 2 by 3 which is a constant so students all the powers of variables are whole number therefore this expression is a polynomial next topic is polynomials in one variable polynomials having only one variable are called polynomials in one variable for example 4x square plus 6x minus 1 is a polynomial in one variable because it has only one variable x now let's understand polynomials in two variables polynomials having two variables are called polynomials in two variables for example x minus y plus 1 in this expression there are two variables x and y so this is a polynomial with two variables next topic is constant polynomials numbers like 2 15 minus 7 are called constant polynomials but 0 is called zero polynomial let's see why 2 is called as a constant polynomial because 2 can be written as 2 into x raised to the power 0 now x raised to the power 0 means 1 therefore we can write 2 into 1 equals to 2 therefore 2 is a constant polynomial Now let's do some questions based on polynomials. Question 1 is which of the following expressions are polynomial? Let's do part 1 which is 2x square plus 3x plus 1 by x. Students, I just told you that to check whether a given expression is a polynomial or not. We will check the power of its variables which should be whole numbers. So let's solve this part. Here variable is x. So let's check the power of variable x. First term is 2x square where power of x is 2 which is a whole number. Second term is 3x where x has no power. it means power of x is 1 which is again a whole number now third term is 1 by x which can be written as x raised to the power minus 1 so students power of x in this term is minus 1 which is not a whole number therefore we can say that this expression is not a polynomial Now let's see second expression which is 2y square plus root 2y minus 30 here variable is y so let's check the power of y in first term 2y square power of y is 2 which is a whole number second term is root 2y where power of y is 1 which is a whole number now third term is 30 which is a constant therefore we can say this is a polynomial last algebraic expression is 2 under root x plus 3x plus 7 here variable is x so let's check the power of x first term is 
2 under root x which can be written as x raised to the power 1 by 2. So power of x is 1 by 2 which is not a whole number. Therefore students we will not check more terms and we can say that this is not a polynomial. So students in this video we learned what is polynomial, polynomial in one and two variables and what are constant polynomials. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video then do hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel Learning Notebook and make sure to press the bell icon. Thank you. Bye bye. See you in the next video.